Writing a research paper, a review or a thesis is not just about writing. It's about doing everything from finding the right literature, organizing your thoughts into writings, citing correctly and making sure the document is scientifically sound. And if you are a student or an early career researcher, I know how overwhelming this can feel. I have been there. Therefore, in this video, I will compare two popular and extremely powerful AI tools, Jenny and Consensus, to overcome most common challenges students and researchers face in academic writing and literature search. First, we will explore what each tool offers along with demos so that you can directly visualize the AI tool's capabilities and understand how they solve specific problems. Next, we will compare both the tools side by side so that you can decide which tool is best suited for your academic needs. Hi, I'm Dr. Abhishek and on this channel, I share practical AI tools, research tips and productivity hacks to make your academic life easier. If this sounds useful, consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. Almost every researcher faces two common challenges in research. First, finding relevant literature to become aware of existing work, plan subsequent research, write introductions, review, follow methodology and discuss the findings to strengthen the claims made. Second, writing the paper itself, translating the thoughts into words, structuring the academic manuscript, proofreading the document, extracting useful insights from the papers and managing references. This is where academic AI tools can really help saving your time and efforts. I receive comments and emails regularly from my viewers and I commonly find two names, Jenny and Consensus. But which tool is best for literature search and writing? To find out, we must check their features and problems each tool is capable of solving that matters to a researcher, so that you can conclude which tool is worth considering. Let's start with Jenny. To begin new research, move forward with existing work, or write a research proposal, it is crucial to understand what is already known, identify the limitations and knowledge gaps which takes time. You can use the AI chat feature of Jenny to analyze the related papers in your library or search across the web to instantly find limitations and gaps within those work. Not just this, it suggests you research questions to plan your research, write proposals and papers, which otherwise takes too much time. The first step is often the most difficult, and the same holds true for academic writing. Without outline, writing seems so much challenging for new researchers. With Jenny, you can easily generate structured outlines for various types of academic documents. An outline provides a clear, logical structure and breaks down the task into manageable sections. It helps you remain on track, gives you more clarity, and helps you compile and organize your data accordingly. You can also provide your draft to Jenny to generate more specific outlines. Imagine you are writing a manuscript or a thesis and suddenly your mind goes blank. What to write next? I'm sure you do have gone through this. This is where Jenny, with its autocomplete feature, can be of great help. You can keep writing seamlessly, picking up right from your existing text or the uploaded document or draft. Plus, you can use AI edit feature on the selected text to do a variety of things like improve fluency, paraphrase, simplify and change the tone. Here I am asking it to elaborate this text. Similarly, you can do a variety of things using this feature. When taking notes or writing your paper, you might accidentally copy words. This results in a high similarity score during similarity check. Additionally, not citing the sources leads to plagiarism, which often causes papers and thesis to get rejected. Using Jenny, you can add citations for relevant sources referred to while writing academic documents and rephrase the text, thus reducing similarity and avoiding plagiarism. To learn more about the differences between similarity and plagiarism, their consequences and how to avoid them, you can watch this video. It is really important to get your citations and references formatted before submitting it to any journal. Doing this by hand isn't just slow but also error prone. Early in my research, I used to spend hours formatting references myself. And if due to some reason my papers get rejected and I had to submit it to a different journal, I would have to reformat everything, which is incredibly frustrating. But if you use Jenny, you can choose to automatically format your citations and references from a variety of journals you pick. It makes things so much easier for researchers. In academia, keeping all the literature organized in one place is key so that you can find it whenever needed. Jenny offers many ways to add, manage and organize your references. You can upload the paper's PDF, import bibtext file, or add using just their DOI. The bibtext file can be exported from Google Scholar or reference managers like Zotero. The literature can be added to a specific collection folder for better organization of different projects. To get the detailed insight about the study, you can fetch or upload the full papers. Using the Web Clipper feature, which is a browser extension of Jenny, you can directly add papers to the library while you read them at their official site or exploring Google Scholar. To write, you first need to read and understand papers, and it becomes tedious and time-consuming to read hundreds of research articles and draw useful insights from them. Using AI chat, you can instantly get summaries from the PDFs in the library. Using at the rate symbol, you can specifically mention one or more papers to refer and ask Jenny to do various things. Like here, I asked to show the key findings. Similarly, it will provide answers to specific questions and other useful insights without even reading the entire paper. 
to discuss the findings of your study or to make arguments in your manuscript, it is important to support them with relevant papers. AIJ helps you to effectively analyze multiple studies to highlight similarities, differences, and to find evidence that either supports or contradicts your own arguments. You can also use AI edit feature to support or contradict arguments in your document. This greatly helps in writing effective literature review and discussions. Unless the language of the manuscript is scientifically sound, it is not publishable in prestigious journals. But Jenny easily takes care of grammar, academic language, inconsistencies, and flow to make it suitable for publishing. You can also manually mention such actions to be performed with your text. Jenny also provides options to insert images, tables, equations, or code, translate text to different languages, export in LaTeX or doc formats, or directly share the link with co-authors and advisors for review and improvements. In another video, I have shared powerful AI prompts along with their demo to make best use of Jenny. I highly recommend you to watch that video. Coming on to the next AI tool, Consensus. Unlike Jenny, Consensus is not a writing tool. Rather, it is a literature search tool perfect for providing science-backed answers, literature review, and discussions. Let's explore what consensus offers. In academia, it is crucial to find answers to questions that are supported by scientific evidence. Consensus is a great tool for this. It answers your questions in the form of synthesized summary along with a list of top papers it has referred. It also provides highlights from individual studies in one place. You can even ask a yes or no question, and its consensus meter will show the percentage of studies that support or contradict it along with the relevant papers. Finding papers on a particular topic is time-consuming. Consensus not only provides you relevant literature, but also a synthesis summary from top papers. Along with this, you can also find what kind of a study it is, like a meta-study, review, or original article. You can use this literature for a variety of purposes, including planning your research, writing a review paper, discussing your finding in the light of existing literature, compare your studies, and cite them in your research papers. You can export a tabular summary of the results, as well as citations, to your reference managers and even Jenny. Reading dozens of papers and extracting useful information is not only challenging but time-consuming too. Using consensus, you get instant summaries of papers and specific answers and insights to open access papers or uploaded papers. This makes reading easy and much more efficient. To learn in detail about consensus, you can check out this video. This table shows side-by-side -side comparison of key features of Jenny and consensus. Thus, if your primary goal is to gather and summarize literature and get science-backed answers, you can opt for consensus. But if you are struggling to write manuscript, proofread the document, cite papers, and manage references, you should go for Jenny. A better way would be to use them together, as they complement each other, connecting both the ends of research from finding the literature to producing refined academic documents. Both offers free plans to try, and if you wish to upgrade, you can use the links given in the description along with the discount codes. So that's all for today. I hope you find the video helpful. Do mention in the comment which of these AI tools you wish to try.